Well, today is not ending out any better than it started. <laughs> the day started off with a dead battery in the truck. Fortunately, before we left, Randy got, um, what is it? It's a jump pack. It's like a battery, a portable battery that you can jump your vehicle with. So I picked up at Harbor Freight. Right. So that was one problem that was solved. And then when we got to Cheney State Park, we decided to look for a campsite. Well, we got, kind of got lost in the park. We haven't been here before. And, it's, and the park is essentially winter closed. So it's like, you know, self-service. And we went in the wrong section and it was just dry camping. And we, were, we thought, we went and looked and found that there was electricity. And so we went to try to find that section and we took a wrong turn. So this road over here, we were coming down this road and we thought there was a campground that we were looking for down here. So we made the turn here and came down this road and then I realized this wasn't where we wanted to go. And so I'm down about yay far here or so and stopped and I decided that it would make sense just to back up and turn, you know, back out on the main road and turn around. So I put it in reverse and I'm using the backup camera from the inside and not a spotter and unfortunately the airstream turned off to the side of the road and hit this gate right here and, and this was one thing that everybody should learn you should never ever back your rv up without somebody spotting you yes and this is the result The Airstream's now been kind of cut open like a can opener. It's got damage here. There's a big dent here. The tail light's broken. <clears throat> Bumpers bashed in. The compartments broke. If there's any good news to all of this, it didn't affect any of the windows. The pole was low enough it missed the windows, thankfully, and we didn't hit it hard enough to damage the window. There is this is pushed into the inside. There's a slight dent on the inside, interior panel. But I guess it's not going to stop us from going. Um, right. We're going to have to put some duct tape on here to make keep water out and everything. But Yeah, if the window had been damaged, that would have brought an abrupt end to our trip. Yep. And we would have been headed back home. Yeah. So now it's time to call the insurance company tomorrow, report it, I've, you know, take some pictures for them. Probably call the Airstream factory and make an appointment for the spring and we'll drop it off there. Um, we didn't well, have to, not on our way home because we no. got too much stuff in it. <laughs> I was going to say, not <clears throat> on our way home. We'll have to drive it back to Jackson Center. Yeah. So we'll take it back to Jackson Center and, uh, you know, get it fixed this, in the spring. Hopefully it won't take too long. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All hopefully. right. As a lot of you might remember, we had issues with our backup camera, which led to the damage on the back of the airstream, which we're going to get fixed. Well, I reached out to the manufacturer of that, um, VisionWorks, and I talked to Corey, which is in their, who is in their service department, and we discussed a couple different things about what it could be, um, and he said that they've got some things coming that they wanted me to try. Well, I um, called them a couple weeks ago and asked them what's the status on some of their updates, and he sent me a box of goodies. So right here is what they sent and so I'm going to show you some of the things. This, this is a remote mount antenna. It has a magnetic base and then this, this, is, this is the standard antenna and then I think it's about a 10, 10 to 15 foot cord allow you to move the antenna to a different location. So with this I could put it on the camera in the back, move the antenna up onto the roof of the Airstream or even take the antenna on the truck 
and instead of having it in the windshield right off the monitor, move it to the outside of the truck where it might get a better signal. Something we're going to try. One of the things I was most interested in, in trying that he had are these. And these are boosted antennas. So there's two of them. And so one goes on the monitor, one will go on the uh, camera. And we're going to see if this makes a difference. And lastly, they sent another camera. This is a new model of a camera. Um, they just came out with it. It's actually a little sleeker and it mounts a little bit different. So this is the camera here. And as you can see, the, the bracket that mounted is built into it and it has a bracket that you attach to the trailer, attach this to and then this to the trailer. We're not gonna try this right now. We're gonna save this for future. We're actually gonna try things in kind of stages because I wanna see what works and what doesn't work and I don't wanna make a whole bunch of changes and find out that, hey, it works better, but I don't know why it works better. So we're gonna put the camera on probably last. I'll put this back in the box. I think the first thing I wanna try are these two antennas. And I'm gonna put the one on the camera first because that's a little bit more difficult one to do i'm going to need a ladder i'm going to take this other one and carry it with me and as we're going down the road when we stop for a rest area or something i'm going to swap this one in i want to see if one of these works if two of these work better i'm not sure i'm going to get into trying the remote antenna i may if i do i may try it just on the monitor and not on the camera because it'd be easier for me to set up and then just run it th the wires through the window of the truck and onto the roof of the truck. So that's a possibility. We'll see how that how it goes and if we get a chance to try that. So let's first put the antenna on the new boosted antenna on the camera and we'll try that on the trip down. Installing this antenna is very straightforward. The antenna just screws onto the back of the camera right here. We unscrew the old one. Take the new one, and it just screws into the same spot. Adjust it for height. Make sure it's snug. There. One thing I noticed right away, the antenna does actually now clear the back of the trailer. That might help some, but there are still obstacles on the back of the trailer that it's gonna cause an issue. So we're not sure by itself if this is going to make that big of a difference. But we're going to try it and see.
Well, we're off to Jackson Center to get the Airstream fixed finally. Been a while coming, hasn't it? Yeah, we've made it, I don't know, February, since February, March. Before November. That. Oh, November, that's right. We did it when uh, we first started out. So, yeah, we've been waiting a long time. Yeah, it's been nine months since uh, we had that accident, and now we're finally going to get it fixed. And um, on this trip, we're going to try a couple things. One, we're going to try some new antennas on the cameras to see if they work any better. And the second thing we're going to see is, can we get 24% better fuel mileage um, towing the trailer? With the prices of gas going up so much, we want to see if we can do better than, than we normally get. So, let's get going. Okay. Actually, we're ahead of schedule today. Good. Monty, you ready to go? Since if there's treats involved, I'm ready. <laughs> Because I'm already always ready to go for a ride, aren't ya? I go in the trailer trip. What you can see here is one, we've towed our trailer a total of 46,000 miles, almost 47,000 miles. And two, we average about 11 miles per gallon. So our goal is to see if we can get better than that on this trip out. And we'll talk more about that along the way. <laughs> With a boosted antenna on the camera, we notice an improvement in signal strength with an average of 3 to 5 bars and no dropout or frozen pictures. boosted antenna to the monitor, we experienced the picture freezing and dropping out. More testing on this will come in future videos. Well, we made it to Jackson Center. Our trailer has been dropped off at the service center and we will come back in a week to pick it up and we'll show you some video of it all being all repaired and looking as good as new. But for now we're heading back home. We've got a same drive we had coming out here, turn around heading back. So we'll leave this part of the video until uh, we get back. And so for you guys in the video world, that'll only be a few minutes. For us it'll be a week or so. So we'll see you when we get back to Jackson Center. Oh, and before I forget, let's talk about that fuel mileage. On this trip, we slowed down from 65 miles per hour average to 60 miles per hour, and we found that that increased our fuel mileage to 12.6, which is about a 15% increase in mileage by only slowing down 5 miles per hour. We're in Jackson Center and we just picked up the Airstream. All the repairs have been done and it looks very good. Yeah, it looks just like it did when it rolled off the factory, so we're really pleased with it. They did a real nice job replacing all the panels, found some other additional damage that they took care of while they had it, and we also had all of the chrome rub strips replaced on it so it all looks like new again. Yep. So we're ready to roll again and they did a good job. We would highly recommend if you have an issue with your Airstream damage whatever to bring it to the factory in Jackson Sun. Right. The downside is you're gonna have to wait because we waited nine months for this appointment and we probably could have got in it a little bit earlier but it would only have been a month earlier than right. that. So it really it's it's an eight month wait. Six to eight months wait is what they're telling people. Right. So you know if you don't have a closer dealer or a dealer you feel confident with that um, bring it to Jackson Sun. Right. And one nice thing is if you can get the wait and have the repairs done over the winter, they'll store the trailer for you. So you can bring it, park it there, and they'll just work it in. They'd love to do that. Right. And they do have an area, the uh, Terraport, where you can park and stay the night until your repairs are completed. Heading home now. Yep, we're ready to go. Now we're ready, yeah, we're ready for uh, our next adventures. All right. All right, guys, 
If you like this video, what should they do? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along in our adventures, like this next one. Who knows what it's going to be? Um, until then, we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody. Bye.